Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 117 for the Xara Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a full width background using a picture. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 9 Premium. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the page in Layer Gallery and lock that panel. And you'll notice by default the pasteboard background is locked. So we want to go ahead and first unlock the pasteboard background because that's where we're going to be placing our full width picture at. And once you do that, let's go ahead and select the pasteboard background. And you'll know that it's selected because it'll have a blue rectangle behind it. So once you do that, let's go ahead and click in the top part of our page and layer gallery. If you double left click and drag into your workspace, you'll notice that you get this gray rectangle. And that's going to allow us to view the page and layer gallery inside of our workspace instead of reading instead of viewing it on the side of our our screen so once you have that over there let's go ahead and go to the designs gallery again lock that panel and I'm actually going to move my page and layer menu over a little bit more and once you move that over some more let's go ahead and go back to our designs gallery and click on page elements and widgets and then click on the folder that says photo elements and widgets and when you left click on that, you'll see a folder that says landscape photos. You'll open that folder up and you'll find the image that you want to use and drag it into your workspace for your full width background for your picture. In this case, I'm going to use boat two. So when you drag that into your workspace, let's go ahead and resize that and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to actually make it a lot bigger. So once you do that, let's go ahead and take a look at our page and layer gallery. If we place our cursor over the pasteboard background, you should see an image. And if you don't see an image there, then that means that you have your picture on the wrong layer. So make sure that it's on the pasteboard background. All right. And let's go ahead and close out our designs gallery because we don't need that anymore. And I'm actually going to move this page and layer gallery over to the right side. So let's go ahead and right click on our picture. And when you right click on your picture, choose set as pasteboard background. And you'll notice that it tiles the image and that's not what we want either. But we have to first set the image as the pasteboard background before we can make it a full width picture. So once you set that as the pasteboard background, right click in the area outside of your main content area for your page. And if you right click and choose pasteboard background, uncheck the option that says tiled. And then we're going to right click one more time outside of the page area, go to pasteboard background. And this time we're going to choose the option that says fill browser window. Let's go ahead and preview this website. And you'll notice that the whole image covers the whole background. And if we were to preview this in our web browser for Chrome, you'll see that the image stays in place even if we scroll up or down. So that's how you create a full width background using a picture. But there's one other thing that I want to say, and that is, you know, when you're doing your design, you might have a hard time knowing where to place things with this smaller image. OK, so if we look at our page and layer gallery, we want to unlock the pasteboard background because the program automatically locked it after we made our changes. So let's go ahead and unlock that. And let's resize this image. And I'm going to zoom out some so that I can see my control handles, which you can see here the nodes for resizing the, the image. And I'm going to drag it down some and probably increase it a little bit more so that it covers most of the page. And I might drag it just a little bit more about there. And then let's go ahead and lock that panel back for the pasteboard background and then let's go ahead and preview this again in our web browser and you'll see that it still covers the full background even after you resized it so the benefit of resizing it the way that I did and I'm actually going to zoom in some more so that we can see this full uh, page here the reason that I made it bigger is because when you're placing your elements in your design you want to have a, a proper reference point, you know, so and actually I've made a mistake there. I need to select the mouse off layer and then draw my rectangle so that it actually sits on top of that image. But the reason that I made that bigger 
is because I want to have a good reference point when I'm designing in Xara. And I'm going to close out this page in Layer Gallery by hitting the X button. And then I'm going to preview this again in our, in our web browser. And you'll see that it's positioned pretty close to what we see in our in our main work design space. But if we had that smaller image that was a smaller rectangle, it would be a lot harder to know where to place your objects in reference to this picture. So I recommend resizing your your photo so that it's easier to know where to place your objects. But anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe. And stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.